In this episode, I'm going offshore out of the Fort Pierce Inlet. We start by running offshore about 26 miles and troll for Wahoo and Mahi. And then we make our way back towards the inlet about 16 miles from the inlet and do some bottom fishing. All right, it's six in the morning and we are going offshore fishing uh, for piers. All right, I am driving to my buddy John's house and I am not, haven't woke up this early in a while, so I'm struggling right now. Oof. Beach at a power plant is usually always bait. I didn't see anything. Yeah. yeah. The 12A is so loaded with kudos. Alright, guys, have fun. Thanks. Thanks. Alright, guys, have fun. See, that, that's the setup there. Yeah, yeah, that's a beautiful thing. It's usually a dollar a bait. like that. So we're gonna send this one way back. Way back. This thing weighs like two pounds. It's got lead in it, so it sinks real deep.
<laughs> oh, there's a little log over there. Alright, I'm finally in action. Do I want to start with a live bait? Oh, your uh, free line's on. Oh, uh, it just came off. Oh, it's on. Oh, it's off. It's on. It's off. It's on. It's off. Yeah, he's got my bait in his mouth. Woo! But I just have mono on here, so. Oh, that's not <laughs> I chewed it up. Right? He's hanging over 19 inches. This thing was like 21, 22. Oh, I'm on too. Oh, boy. Um. <laughs> Double hookup. Mine doesn't feel too big. I could probably put this one in and. Yeah, mine's still, mine's still on, but he ain't. He, just grab this leader. And throw him in right here. There. There's a leader right there. Just swing him in. Okay, go get your run. Woohoo! Nice. Fish. We ain't even fishing. Woohoo! Yeah, you got a bigger one than me. I thought, I, the way yours was running, I thought yours was bigger than mine. Ooh. Grab mine in your head. Okay. Grab mine in your head like that. Yep. Shit. He's got a soft spot there. Okay, put them both in the box in the ice. Alright. Can't wait till we get our limit so I get back to fishing. Yeah, I was just saying the same thing. Let's two more kingfish real quick and then Go to bottom fishing and leave these. Yeah, the kingfish have been sick the last three times out. They've been everywhere. This guy's not fighting at all. Here. Oh, there he goes. I knew he could. Is he 
foul hooked or something? He's coming up all weird. Oh, I... He's foul hooked. Yeah, he is kind of small. There's a size on it, I don't remember what it is. I would, I would maybe... Whoa! Oh, oh shit. Did he go yeah, in your hand? Yeah. Nope. <sighs> oh, yeah, we that could have been bad. Oh, I see, I see the kingfish back. Oh, oh there he goes. Oh. Stubborn one. It's all right. That's all we're here for, a yellow fight. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's kind of hooked in the side a little bit again. Right. I see being so difficult. Yeah, that's bigger. Ooh, Whoops. Right. I'll bring him up a little bit higher. This Oh yeah, he's foul hooked. Woohoo! Beauty! Open the box, we'll go right in. Oh, another trigger. I've been robbed again. Oh, he's fast. Okay, I got him. All right, four kingfish. Check. Gotta be eight inches, so they're they're actually delicious. These little suckers. Yeah, that's actually what I just did, and I am I'm hooked up. Fish. Oh, I had something. Double trouble. Uh, one of them sucked right in the tail. I just got a nibble on my big bait.
have about 20 pair of good glasses. When you see crabs in there, you got to get them out fast because the otters won't be here in the next couple hours and he'll get them out of there for you. This 50 cent a pound fish, if you smoke it and put some sour cream mayonnaise with it, sells for $35 a pound. So all you got to do, smoke it, put some junk on it, and it's from 50 cents to $35 a pound. <laughs> mm -hmm. A lot of ways to make money. That's true. That's a right. Chris, uh, king fish too. Yeah, it's kingfish, yeah. That's the sour cream and the mayo with the rum and all that in there, peppers, onions, celery. So that's like fifty dollars worth there. I made a bowl, those big bowls we used. Mm -hmm. I made one full. Alright, we're at the kitchen about to cook. Today we're gonna cook the snapper and the trigger fish and I want to thank John for taking me on his boat and he uh, gave me a little recipe and I don't really have all the ingredients but I'm going to wing this as good as I can but basically what we're going to do is cut this snapper into medallion sized pieces put those pieces in the flour and then after the flour we're going to make a batter out of egg and mayo and basically dip the fish in the batter and then fry it. There's also a a, um, a sauce that I'm gonna make which has garlic, olive oil, butter, lemons, a couple other things I don't have, and white wine. And we're gonna reduce that on the stove top and that'll be our sauce for the fried snapper nuggets, medallions. <laughs> so with the fish fillets basically I'm just cutting them into medallion sized pieces so they're all even sized and when they deep fry they all finish at the same time. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt into the flour. Last one. And now we're going to make the mayo and egg batter in this bowl. To make the batter, we're going to put in some mayo. Just maybe put in like a half a jar. And then we're going to put in three eggs. Should hopefully. Mix that up. All we're doing is heating up some oil, canola oil, and putting a little bit of butter in it. 
because we're going to fry the fish in this. Time to party. That could be a little hotter, I think. Things get slippery. These are looking pretty good. Alright, cut one open to make sure that they're fully cooked and they look cooked. Yep. Mmm. That's delightful. Yeah, these guys are definitely ready. Olive oil. Butter. Loading up the garlic. <laughs> I need two hands to do this, apparently. Now that's fresh garlic. Woo, I can smell that already. A couple more garlics because... Mmm. Look, we got a lemon squeezer. We're gonna squeeze two full lemons in here. Now we're gonna add some white wine. One for the chef, one for the pan. Now we're just gonna reduce this until it looks good and ready to go. Honey and butter for the cornbread. Mm-hmm. This sauce is super delightful. Super lemon zesty. I'm gonna have to do a little trial run. Oh! That's really good. Ooh. What's in this? Well, I gotta say, that fried snapper and trigger fish was some of the best I've ever had. And with that sauce, it was exceptional. So definitely try that sauce. It really makes the fried fish explode in your mouth. Thank you for that recipe, John, and for taking me out fishing. I got the smoker smoking right now, and I got the kingfish in here. So I'll be eating some kingfish here in a moment. If you want to watch the full process on how to smoke some kingfish, I have another video up where I do that and it turned out great and I uh, make fish dip out of it. I'll add a link to that video in the video description below. Also, I've been working hard on the new SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com website. So check it out and um, there's a giveaway. Check that out too and uh, thank you for watching. Peace out from the South Florida Fishing Channel. Oh,